This is Catherine. She fell in love with Nick. Hello and welcome to yet again another perfected Who's Carrying the Penis edition. Alright, everybody knows me knows that I am an absolute sucker for love. Alright, I've dated 15 girls. I mean, that's a lot, right? I know some of them about love. I've dated five girls three times. My name is the Olympian, a.k.a. Olympianus, or Phoenix with the meanness of six inches. And we're going to take these penis and we're going to put them to the test. When we first met, we were mom friends. Which means that I was still walking around identifying as female. No. Thank you for clearing that up, Dinkus. Now we are husband and wife. That is just so much more fun. You know, there was definitely a period of adjustment. Things happened slowly, but also quickly. But now I really can't imagine Nick being anyone other than who he is. I Whatever you say, Catherine. Nick, can I call you Nick? Can I call you Nick? All right, Nick. Right, you, I got much respect for you, boy. Let me tell you something, all right? Now, this actually reminds me of a nursery rhyme. It goes something like this. Catherine and Nick sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Nick took his tongue, stuck it into the vagina, and then became a man. Congratulations to both of them. Wow! That's what you don't understand, all right? When you take a scholar, all right? You take a scholar to debate a gay man. First question the scholar was going to ask is, Good morning. Why are you gay? Right? And the gay man's going to come out like, you know, I always felt that way and stuff like that. And, you know, I was, you know, I felt a little bit different. No! You haven't tasted vagina yet! You should try it! Look it! Look it! You know, and that's why he's a scholar. Um, we say thank you, scholar. No problem! How you doing this morning? Uh, you know, not a lot of things pisses me off, but this shit right here got me messed up, man. This is unacceptable, all right? Nick, that's what I'm talking about. You're not ready to be a man. You, you wouldn't understand what the word means, all right? Now, let me ask you a question, the viewers. Hey, listen, have your father ever walked up to you being a man himself, and you are a man? He comes up to you and asks, good morning, how you doing? And then sniffs the shit out of you. <laughs> Oh, you some bitch. Like, did that shit ever happen? Of course not. We're fucking men, right? We don't sniff each other's hair. That's some bullshit, man. Before I met Catherine, I was married to the nicest man around. He is top notch. We had four babies. We created a really wonderful life together, but it wasn't the right one. Nick and Catherine met at a conference where Catherine was a speaker and despite living in different countries, quickly became firm friends, which later developed into more. When I first met Nick, he was, I thought, this straight woman, happily married. He was pregnant and had a baby in his arms. There was more to be revealed. <laughs> my takeaway of this story of love, it's unbelievable, obviously, but my takeaway is that you stole Nick from his husband? He just gave you one sniff? That's all she wrote, man. You you gave him one sniff? That was all it took. Right, I ain't got no problem with that. Right, you are a motivational speaker, I would assume that. I mean, this the field that I obviously want to pursue, you know, being the greatest motivational speaker of all time. You know, just being lazy, talking about how I had $12. And, you know, just how I became an unbelievable beast, you know. Just trailblazing and shit, right? But let's take a listen to what you said, and it's really, really refreshing. This transition has been so important for Nick, but it doesn't mean that there weren't challenging moments along the way. Guys, just because something is important to you doesn't mean there's not going to be any challenging moments. All right, let me break it down for the stupid people, all right? When something is important to you, right, you know, of great importance, there's not always going to be challenging times. <laughs> All right, everybody, 20 minutes until go time. Mr. Mayhem, you still are missing your socks. Where are they? Sorry. Whoopsie daisy. Damn, this Mayhem got some balls. He knew that sniff was coming. He knew that sniff was coming, man. You could see Nick coming in already. Mayhem anticipated that sniff. He'll just be coming. Where's your socks? <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. But damn, Mayhem was two steps ahead. I tell you something, boy. <laughs> What you doing just sniffing kids, man? Stop with that bullshit. It's not a second time. 
You know. <laughs> I don't know. Remember that one? Okay. It's very good. It's gonna be like boiling hot summer later today. I know, but because our kids were a range of ages when I transitioned, the oldest being ten at the time and the youngest being almost two. They have a different experience, each of them. Our youngest doesn't remember me as anything other than dad. And our oldest is like, remember when we used to call you mama? That was so strange. I can't even believe that. I'll waste the very back of the bus. Yep. Okay, another day. They're off. Mm -hmm. We did it. We went at parenting <laughs> for another day. Mostly me. So there you have it. Nick being the better parent. Sniffing everything that comes his way. We put them to the test, and what do you know? Who has the penis? None. I'll make sure I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check out the full video on truly. Truly.org. Truly.org. <laughs> right? Now, Nick, obviously, you want to be a man. Let me tell you something. Let me give you advice, right? Advice from the Olympian. Right? Leave no doubt. Right? To be a man, right? It's tough. It's tough out here, man. There's a long way for you to go, right? And first thing is that you can't be a Karen anymore, right? You need to put that behind you, right? You got to move on. There's no Karens when you're talking about male. We're talking about the alphas. Some some few in the, in the betas, you know, but it is what it is. But they, they don't want to be Karens full blown, all right? You want to be a man, you got to do this 100%, right? You can't be walking up to the employees talking about, I need to speak to your manager. Manager come up. Orale, man. You're looking for me, man. You're looking for me. You're looking at me. Fuck you. And you trying to be like, no, no, just kidding. Like, I just, I just want to tell you, like, I don't think that I was treated. Like, fuck you, man. Fuck your feelings, man. Orale, man. You get your teeth knocked out. My name is the Olympian. A.K.A. Olympianus. Olympianus. With the Venus. With the meanest of six inches. And we do what we always been done. Diddly. Damn, boy. We go for gold, leave no doubt. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, good boy. 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 Oh, you, good boy.